the wind has been blowing like the dickens all morning long and I'm hoping it picks up just a little bit more because the more it blows, the less leaves I have to rake up later today. It just keeps coming in spurts and I can't quite catch it in time. See, like, look at their lawn's empty, my lawn's full, it's capturing all of them and there goes more across the street. A minute ago, it looked like there was just smoke going across the whole street and everything because there were so many leaves going by. It's a windy day, it's cold, and like it's obviously turned because that tree had plenty of leaves on it not three days ago, and now it's just empty. You try to keep it so still, but the wind blows. Blow little leaves. Yes, every time you walk over here, I keep trying to catch this dang wind, but every second I walk over here, it just dies off. It's like it's waiting for me teasing me. This is bullcrap. This morning Bonnie woke up in a bad mood, or no, no, she said she wasn't feeling very good. That's what it was, she's not feeling very good, not a bad mood. So I thought, I'll come down, get her something yummy, get her a treat. So we came to Jamba Juice. That'll start a day off right now. Hopefully this will put Bonnie in a better mood. I mean, make her feel just a little bit better today. It's very cold out here, it's very windy. Half the leaves are gone on this one. Let's see. keep going, guys. Keep those leaves pushing. I don't want to rake anything today. Let's go. Good. Hi, Hi bud. Lincoln, what the, does that um, taste so good to you? Green. Yes, well, I told you not to get it on your shirt, and guess what? You have done a wonderful job of not getting it on your shirt. Let me see your face. <gasps> I know people think I'm ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't ask you to do this. He does this when, oh, shut it. He does this when I'm in a bad mood and he's trying to like put me in a no, better not mood. No, bad mood, don't feel good. That's, that's good. I kinda don't, like don't I feel just good. feel larg. I honestly think I'm just stressed about leaving. I think I'm stressed about leaving and my butterfly, like I've got butterflies, I've got like, you're only going to Ogden. In a couple of days. Joel's so cute, he's like, your outfit is so cute. He's like, but you really need tennis shoes. I'm like, well I don't have tennis shoes. No. I have black booties or flip flops and the flip flops didn't go, so this is what we chose. Thanks. Do you have any idea what your son did this morning? Said you had girl pants hey, on. Hey, excuse me wearing your pants. <laughs> Crap. Well, yeah, I mean. You're going into the garbage. <laughs> Whatever. Never you wear your pants again. These are men's pants. They are men's pants. men's pants. And you look so manly in yeah. them. Men's pants have a leather belt ring. <laughs> I am going to Ogden today to get my hair done. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I got my hair in my bag and I'm gonna go get my hair done. I know Boston is so sad because he just wants to have quiet time with me today. But I won't be here for quiet time. It makes you so sad. It makes me just not want to go at all. Dad will get you all the way set up for quiet time, okay? And you can still have a fun quiet time. You can even have quiet time on my bed if you want. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so dad will lay a blanket out on my bed and you can have all the toys that we talked about and a, whatever treats you want and you can watch whatever you want on my bed, okay? Okay. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Okay, and you can Would do it when Lincoln. Can... When, when you get to the pear thing, will, will it be time tomorrow? to get up quite time? About. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Those are mom's pants. No, they're not, bud. These, yeah, are, they are. these are manly, masculine pants. They are mom's pants. I told mom I didn't really like these pants, and she said I should wear them because they're masculine. They're just fine. Nobody will question whether they're girls' pants or not. Well, they're girls' pants. They're actually guys' pants, but everybody thinks they're girls' pants, so they're girls' pants. Hey, there's no crying on the camera, bud. Do you like your new shirt mommy got for you? Oh, okay. Hey, you climb in? That was a little rough. Was that fun? You take a good nap, and I'll see you in a little bit. I love you. Love you. Did you move this chair over here for me to get up in there? Yeah. You already know it's quiet time. Yeah. 
I think one of these bags is Boston's. Right there. Get that one. That one. Ooh, almost just went down. That one's yours. You can have your quiet time stuff now. Don't make a mess. What do you tell everybody for sending you that? Thank you. I came out here trying to blow the leaves around, trying to get them all away from the house, to get them all picked up. This is like working against the wind, literally. Every time I just turn the blower on and blow this area off, it just blows right back all through here. Blow this off, it blows right back through here. The nice part about this big breeze is it's actually getting rid of a lot of leaves that kind of linger for a long time. Like, look at this back fence. Just a little bit of leaves against the wall there, and all of a sudden there's a leaf pile. Just go straight up the fence. And I don't even want to know how many leaves have gone into the neighbor's yards and stuff. On the plus side of these things, the entire front yard is almost all the way cleaned off. 15 more minutes and that's going to be completely gone over there. I feel bad for whoever's yard that is going into, but... physically don't know how my day is going to get any worse. Just broke a bag string. You see it flapping in the wind as if it's mocking me? Haha, <laughs> you can't carry me now. You got to carry me like a football. I feel like a wide receiver running in the house. Are you in trouble? Yes. Yeah. Cody's in some pretty deep trouble. He didn't do anything that was drastically wrong. What he did do is the same exact thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Are you learning from your mistakes? You know what, but I've been in your shoes I don't know how many times. Do you know I got grounded a lot when I was a kid? Yeah, I got in trouble a lot as a kid. So you're gonna help me. Go take those downstairs to the laundry room and come back up for more. You're in trouble, That's a little sharp knife. Now, I don't think that's gonna go in your room with you, okay? I don't want to use it. I know you... that's Well, I know, but I know kids. Do you know who gave you that then? Uh -huh. Who? Neil. Neil, you'll always remember that. But, but I don't have a pocket knife and Cody gets four? No. I mean three? Cody has two, but he's older, and when you get bigger, I'll get you one too, okay? A green one? All right, it's all right. Dad's gotta finish wrapping these bushes. Olivia, show me what you got. Uh, pocket knife. Who gave it to you? Neil. Oh my gosh, did he give you one too? No, no. Oh, he oh, but he said you didn't have one, so he I gave you one. He has a sword. He has a real life sword. Oh my gosh. I told the kids to go over and visit one of our older neighbors, and apparently they scored big time. Um, the wind is insane. Yeah. Oh my well, gosh, look at Lincoln's hair. Home, we had to go so slow. We were going so slow because the wind was so hard and it was pushing us and we couldn't this woman here. stop. Oh wind. my gosh, well you guys need to move out of my way so I can pull in the driveway. Don't blow away. So Joel's going to go down and visit his dad. He's having back surgery tomorrow. Oh, my hair is looking a little moldy-ish because of the wind. <laughs> you know dad's going to take you, Cody, and Boston, Dad's gonna take you. No, because me and you have piano lessons tonight. Yeah, to visit his dad and see him before he goes in for his surgery. Okay, my eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. Don't look at these yet. Okay, I'm not looking. <laughs> well, don't drop it behind there. I'm not looking yet. My eyes are still closed. Wait, wait. Now look. Oh my goodness, where did you get those? From one of the packages that were sent? Yeah, and I have another one, but I have to go downstairs and get it. Okay, do you know what? But you my... have to close your eyes when I put it up. Do you know what my biggest concern was today? What? I wondered, what did Boston do for quiet time? Did you have fun? Yeah. Look at it has. Let's see. But I'm gonna go get the thing and you have to close your eyes okay. when you Okay, see I'll close it. my eyes. So you got some tweezers in there, okay. Hi, hi Lincoln. Um, and look at this, look. There's this on it, sorry, wrong way. A nail filer, awesome. Wait, now right next to the tweezers is a toothpick, right? So those are the tweezers. I know. And this is the toothpick. Cute. How much candy have you eaten? Yeah. Reading the fifth. My brother Jeff and I drove down and Josh met us here in Roy to come down to get my dad a blessing. He is going to be operated on soon and hopefully fixed. But they're working on your back, not your head though, right? <laughs> but we thought we'd bring the little boys with us for a good car ride and grandma's been Grandma. feeding them full of candy. Is Uncle Jeff going to ride in our car when, when they... 
Come to our house. Do you want him to? Yeah. Or do you want him to ride in the back? Um, so what did Grandma serve up for you guys? Candy and... Oh, candy and peanut butter jelly on a... Napkin. On a hamburger bun. <laughs> oh, yummy. Hamburger bun. A napkin. It's like we're in a hurricane. There's no bread left, All just hamburger food. buns. Have some chips. This is the story of my life. You had a, a paper towel, a sandwich, some and chips. potato chips. That's that's all you need in life, and you're happy. Candy! That, well, that too. Tell them good luck. Oh, yeah. Well, Dad, I hope you have a good surgery. Hope it goes well. Thank you. That is wild looking over there. I didn't realize that our lights aren't very bright on our uh, Frankenstein and pumpkins and all that. We gotta light them up somehow. Wait for Christmas and all. But until then, just look at the neighbors. It looks nice. Or at least, like, the party lights are there. You guys, I did a terrible job of vlogging today. I came home and Joel said, did you vlog getting your hair done? And I said, no. And he's like, okay, well, you can vlog when you take Olivia to piano lessons and when you put the kids to bed. I was like, okay. And now I'm sitting in bed. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, my job, that thing that I have to do. <laughs> I didn't do it. So I'm sitting here in bed. Joel asked me on the phone today. He's like, what is the matter? I'm like, I don't have a reason. I'm just in such a terrible mood today. I got my hair done and I love going and getting my hair done. I had the day to myself and I'm still in a bad mood. What the heck? So I'm sitting here and I am finishing up my candy bar. My back hurts. Now my friend hurts. You're not you when you're hungry. And then I have another win for when I'm done. And I am watching, oh, I hope this is a good scene. Okay, I was like, ah, what am I showing you? I'm watching, um, Scandal. <laughs> Couldn't remember it for a second. I'm watching Scandal. And I love Scandal. Joel is gonna be gone for a little bit, so I'm gonna sit here and try to get out of this bad mood because tomorrow's Halloween and I'm just not prepared. So, see you guys tomorrow.